This is part of a series of training videos that pertain to the Teacher Assignment Monitoring Outcome Reports. This video will discuss the difference between what the Commission on Teacher Credentialing would define as a legal assignment, but that may be reported as out of field or ineffective in the new Teacher Assignment Monitoring Outcome Reports. In this video, we will discuss the Teacher Assignment Monitoring Outcome Report definitions. In addition, we will explore the difference between legal assignments under the Commission on Teacher Credentialing, CTC, and the California Every Student Succeeds Act, ESSA, definitions of out of field and ineffective teachers. There are several factors that employers must consider in order to ensure an appropriate and legal educator assignment. Some of these factors may be directly linked to the documents issued by the Commission of Teacher Credentialing, or CTC. These are shown in the graphic and include the following considerations, setting, content, and grade level that the teacher is teaching. Others may be influenced by outside sources, such as the California Department of Education, CDE, State Board of Education, California Public University System, or US Department of Education. These are displayed in the graphic and include the course credit, A through G credit, ESSA reporting requirements, as well as how a particular course is funded. Even if assignments are considered legal with the CTC, they may still be considered out of field or ineffective for federal reporting purposes. The teacher assignment monitoring outcome reports are based on full-time equivalency or FTE of a position. The full-time equivalency or FTE of a position is defined as the percentage of time spent working in a job classification in relation to a full-time position, 100% or 1.0 FTE. As you can see in this example, a single teacher can be clear for part of their assignment and out of field for part of their assignment. In this case, this teacher has the appropriate math credential to be clear for 0.6 of their assignment and does not have the appropriate credential for history and is considered out of field for 0.4 of their assignment when teaching these history courses. This means that if you note that you have 1.0 FTE that are out of field, this does not necessarily represent one full-time teacher. It could represent a portion of several more teachers' assignments. More information about FTE can be found in the video, Full-Time Equivalency versus Individual Teacher Counts on the same site as this video. There are several terms in the Teacher Assignment Monitoring Outcome Reports that should be explained. These are also defined on the Teacher Assignment Monitoring Outcome Report webpage provided on the last page. An Assignment Monitoring Outcome of CLEAR indicates that all relevant attributes or dimensions of the assignment were authorized by a CLEAR or preliminary credential. The CLEAR assignment includes authorization by a local assignment option, LAO, pursuant to Section 80005B of the California Code of Regulations, T5 80005B, for specific state course codes where a credential or permit does not exist to authorize the indicated teaching assignment, e.g. student government or study hall. An assignment monitoring outcome of intern indicates that one or more relevant attributes of the assignment was authorized by an intern credential. An intern teacher is defined as someone who has a bachelor's degree and subject matter competency that is assigned in a classroom while they complete coursework requirements for a preliminary credential. This type of program is a cooperative effort between a local school district or county office of education and an institution of higher education. The definition of ineffective was approved by the SBE and is included in the California ESSA Consolidated State Plan. Again, a link to these definitions can be found at the end of this presentation. An ineffective teacher is defined as one, an individual whose assignment is legally authorized by an emergency permit that does not require possession of a full teaching license. Two, a teacher who holds a teaching credential but does not possess a permit or authorization that temporarily allows them to teach outside of their credentialed area, misassigned. Or three, an individual who holds no credential, permit, 
or authorization to teach in California. An assignment monitoring outcome of ineffective indicates that one or more relevant attributes of the assignment had no legal authorization from a permit, credential or waiver, or one or more relevant attributes of the assignment were authorized by the following limited permits. Provisional internship permits, PIPs, short-term staff permits, STIPs, variable term waivers, substitute permits, or teaching permits for statutory leave, TIPSL, holders serving as the teacher of record. An out-of-field teacher is defined as someone who has a credential but has not yet demonstrated subject matter competence in the subject areas for the student population associated with the assignment. An assignment monitoring outcome of out-of-field indicates that one or more relevant attributes of the assignment were authorized by the following limited permits. General Education Limited Assignment Permit, GLAP. Special Education Limited Assignment Permit, CLAP. Short-term waivers. Emergency English Learner or Bilingual Authorization Permits. Local assignment options except for those made pursuant to T5 80005B. Local assignment options based on Title V regulations, Section 8005B, were removed from the out of field category because there are no credentials for these courses. Examples of courses that require these types of LAOs include student government and advancement via individual determination or AVID courses. An assignment monitoring outcome of incomplete indicates that missing or incorrect information about the assignment was reported to CalPADS by the LEA, which prevented a complete and accurate determination of the assignment authorization during the CTC assignment monitoring process. Determinations in CalSAS that would receive an incomplete status include CalPADS errors that triggered exceptions, alternative special education placements, for example, when a special education student is placed in a general education classroom on the basis of their individualized education plan, IEP direction. Exceptions for educators that have been determined as appropriate assignments, but the credential authorizations of the assigned teacher aren't associated with the setting or content of the course. Course setting assignments that are determined exceptions because an educator does not hold a credential that authorizes self-contained instruction. An assignment monitoring outcome of unknown indicates that insufficient information about the assignment was reported to CalPADS by the local educational agency, LEA, which resulted in an unknown determination of the assignment authorization during the CTC assignment monitoring process. This outcome is often the result of LEAs not reporting an English language service associated with a course in which English learners, ELs, are enrolled. Although the assignment authorization may be clear in other areas, an assignment monitoring outcome of unknown in the EL authorization space results in an overall determination of unknown for the assignment. An assignment monitoring outcome of NA indicates that the assignment either required no authorization or evaluation of the authorization was not applicable given the state course code or some other attribute of the assignment. This includes specific state course codes not evaluated during the assignment monitoring process conducted by the CTC through CalSAS, e.g. 9209, teacher preparation, 9215, free period, or because the assignment was an online learner-led course in which the student sets the pace of instruction and where content and instruction are provided solely by the online application. The important thing to note about these three designations of incomplete, unknown, and not applicable is that they were not assignments added to the out of field or ineffective categories and therefore did not inflate those numbers. There is an additional video in the TAMO report training video series that addresses how to produce better data in CalSAS and CalPES that will reduce the number of teachers associated with these three designations. 
Several local educational agencies have contacted the CDE to report that all of their teachers are legally assigned and that they feel there is a great discrepancy between their internal teacher assignment monitoring data and the data that has been reported on the CDE's webpage. This may be because there are differences between what CTC considers a legal assignment and how these assignments would be labeled according to the adopted teacher definitions in California's state plan. The teacher assignment monitoring outcomes report is based on the adopted teacher definition in California state plan, specifically for ineffective and out of field as discussed in previous slides. One example of this is under California's ESSA definitions, a teacher that is legally authorized by an emergency permit is considered ineffective. However, the CTC wouldn't consider this teacher legally assigned because they hold a document that allows them to teach outside of their credentialed area. You'll note the other two categories that the ESSA definitions assign the ineffective designation to are in agreement with CTC's designation. In this slide, we also see a discrepancy between what is viewed as a legal assignment by the CTC and what is considered ineffective under California's ESSA definitions. Teachers with a PIP, STIP, or variable term waiver are legally assigned according to the commission because they hold documentation of a permit. However, we see alignment between CTC's determination and California's ESSA definitions when it comes to substitute permits or TIPSLs as being not legally assigned as the teacher of record and under the indefective category. On this slide, we see a discrepancy between California's ESSA definition for out of field. The CTC views all of the permits on this slide, including general education limited assignment permits, or GLAPs, special education limited assignment permits, or CLAPs, short-term waivers, emergency English learner or bilingual permits, and local assignment options, except for those made pursuant to t 58005 b as legal assignments because teachers hold a document or permit that allows them to temporarily teach outside of their credentialed area with students they are not authorized to teach. The California ESSA definitions, as well as the assignment monitoring reports, would place teachers authorized by the aforementioned limited permits in the out of field category. There is a very robust web page that provides guidance to understand the teacher assignment monitoring reporting information. www.cde.ca.gov slash ds slash ad slash t-a-m-o-i-n-f-o dot asp. In addition, the Promoting Equitable Access to Teachers webpage houses the ESSA teacher equity definitions discussed in this video. www.cde.ca.gov slash pd slash ee slash teacher equity definitions dot asp.